see remember here you have to find only the approximate values and the values are given in such a way that you can very easily approximate and arrive at the answer now what is given here 64.01 squared into all of these values okay is equal to 2 to the power of what that's what they are asking so what is uh, 60 so it is nothing but i can approximate it and write it like this right? 64 squared into 65 to the power 1 by 3 into 25.99 right? you can take it as 26 squared uh, divided by you have 2 to the power 11 into 12.97 again you can write it as 13 squared this is equal to 2 to the power question mark so if you write it like this it becomes uh, much more easier for us to decipher again 64 okay now the final answer that i need is in terms of 2 to the power of wa what value so here the 64 you can write it in terms of 2 to the power correct see what is uh, 64 64 is nothing but 2 to the power 6 Okay, so this 64 squared is nothing but 2 to the power 6 squared into, again you have 65 to the power 1 by 3 or cube root of 65 you have to find out. See what is cube root of 64? You know cube root of 64 is 4 because 4 cube is equal to 64. So I can approximately say that the cube root of 65, okay, I can say cube root of 65 is equal to 4. I am approximating and taking so here uh, what are they asking here what is 4 4 is nothing but 2 squared so this 65 to the power 1 by 3 is equal to 4 or 4 is equal to 2 squared now you have 26 squared what is 26 26 is 13 into 2 correct so 26 squared is 13 into 2 the whole squared or 13 squared into 2 squared so this is equal to 13 squared into 2 squared divided by 2 to the power 11 13 squared this and this will get cancelled here 2 to the power 6 whole to the power 2 that is equal to 2 to the power 12 into 2 to the power 2 divided by 2 to the power I mean 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 that is into 2 to the power 2 divided by 2 to the power 11 so that is equal to 2 to the power 5 answer that we are looking at it is 5 that is option B ideally when you solve this question you should be writing only this step all of these steps it is just explanation that i am giving it to you that's why i've written it like this you should be able to do it in one step answer is 5 2 to the power 11 by 2 to the power 12 a to the power m by a to the power n is equal to a to the power of m minus n so here uh, 2 to the power of 12 minus 11 will be 2 similarly if you have a to the power m into a to the power n that is equal to a to the power of m plus n so here 2 uh, 2 squared into 2 squared that is equal to 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 4 into 2 2 to the power 5 so the answer that we are looking at is option b 5 the next question is also an approximation what is given here 303 by 10 into 111 is equal to uh, question mark divided by 1.8 into 0.5 right so uh, what is 0 0.5 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 so 1.8 into 1 by 2 that you know is 0 0.9 right half of 1.8 is 0 0.9 so what is the question what are they ask, actually asking you 3 by 10 into 111 is equal to question mark let us take that as x x divided by 0 0.9 you have to find out the value of x so what should you find out you have to find out 3 into see 111 by 10 is 11.1 .1 into 0 0.9 so you know uh, 3 into 11.1 .1, see here you are approximating so 3 into 11 is 33 33 into 0 0.9 approximately close to 27 28 so you can take it as 30 that is the closest option that is there you can approximate this and take it as 30 option c options are given here in such a manner that it's very easy for us to narrow down at the option 100 10 3 60 none of the options are close by so 33 into 0 0.9 closest is 30 take that as your answer root of 1024.002 divided by 3.996 divided by 9.98 plus 29 is equal to question mark see what is 1024 1024 we know is nothing but 2 to the power of 10 so 1024 is 2 to the power 10 so what uh, what should you do you have to find the root of 2 to the power 10 divided by 4 3.99 i'm taking it as 4 divided by 10 plus 29 so what is root of 2 to the power 10 see 2 to the power 10 whole to the power of 1 by 2 or that is equal to uh, 2 to the power of 5 
a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m n or this is equal to 2 to the power 5 what is 2 to the power 5 that is equal to 32 so this accounts to 32 what is 32 divided by 4 8 so now you are left with 8 divided by 10 plus 29 what is 8 divided by 10 0 0.8 8. So 0 0.8 plus 29 or 29.8 closest option again that you have here is 30 that is option C. Yes 32 is the root of 1024. If you know that that uh, you can do it directly like that also Dushyant. Some of uh, you might not know directly that 32 is the root of 10. Yeah 32 is the root of 1024 in that case you can do it this way also. So this question looks a bit difficult but it's actually a very easy one even though they have given decimals here all that will go off when you simplify what is given here 10 to the power of 7.3 divided by what is 100 in terms of 10 10 squared whole to the power of 4.15 into again 1000 is 10 cube whole squared plus here you have 1 2 3 4 5 nines so 5 nines is what it is nothing but very close to 10 to the power 5 so you can approximate and take this as 10 to the power 5 is equal to question mark into 10 to the power 5 now just uh, simplify this what do you get you have here uh, 10 to the power 7.3 this will become 10 to the power 6 correct this is 10 to the power 6 so 10 to the power 7.3 into 10 to the power 6 is nothing but 10 to the power of 7.3 plus 6 similarly here you have 10 squared whole to the power 4.15 or this is equal to 10 to the power of 2 into 4.15 or 10 to the power of 8.30 okay so i can say this is e so i can say this whole thing is nothing but 10 to the power of 7.3 plus 6 minus 8.3 this is e plus 10 to the power 5 is equal to question mark into 10 to the power 5 so 7.3 minus 8.3 is minus 1 minus 1 plus 6 is 5 so this is nothing but 10 to the power 5 see i have 9 9 9 9 9 5 times 9 plus 1 will give me 1 followed by 5 zeros so this is approximately equal to 10 to the power 5 so 10 to the power 5 is equal to question mark into 10 to the power 5 or this is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 5 so the answer that we are looking at is 2 option b option b is the correct answer next one